uh, making it very difficult for anybody to follow him on the mic. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a privilege, an honor, and a pleasure uh, to be here in the great county of Duval this morning representing the other 99 chapters of the 5,000 role models in Miami, as well as the other 22 chapters in Pinellas County, um, to welcome the uh, Duval County branch, uh, starting with their 10 chapters that will be starting on behalf of my mother, Congresswoman Federica Wilson. Um, I bring you greetings this morning from her. Uh, she is extremely excited about the growth of our program. This program has been around almost now for a quarter of a century, and we are happy to see its value and its worth, and we are happy to, to begin to see the fruits of its labor as a lot of our young men that were once mentees are now back in Miami serving as mentors. And that is the whole point, full circle, coming back to the community that supported you. I am flabbergasted by the turnout this morning. Mr. Rozier, you didn't tell me that it would be uh, quite a turnout like this. I'm extremely happy to see individuals from the military as well as law enforcement, especially with uh, the rash of incidents that we have been experiencing all across the country in regards to police, police and youth relationships. And it's very important, vitally important. Law enforcement plays a huge role in what we do in Miami. So I'm very happy to hear about the, uh, the Chief's commitment to, um, to this particular program because in order for our young men to truly change their perception of law enforcement, they need to experience time with law enforcement that doesn't involve handcuffs or the back of a police car. So I'm extremely happy to see that. And um, I wanna say hello, a special hello to uh, Tony Hill who has been a friend of the Role Models program since its inception, sir. Fantastic to see you, happy to see you here. Um, as Dr. Vivi stated, uh, for him to have seen this program work in Miami and make a decision to bring it with him here to Duval County, it just says a lot about him and a lot about his character as well as board member Dr. Hall. She came down and, and visited with us and she was immersed in the program as well. So I'm extremely happy and proud of the principals that are here this morning that are committed to changing the lives of the students that they serve one child at a time. Frederick Douglass always said that it is much easier to build strong children than it is to repair broken men. And unfortunately, we're dealing with a lot of broken men. So to start early, to see strong character, self-esteem being built amongst our young men cross-culturally, it does nothing but, but bring joy to my heart. I'm happy to be here. I visited some of the, uh, the, the neighborhoods earlier today on my way from the airport. We rode around. I got to see some of the same circumstances that I see at home, some of the humble beginnings that these young men are coming from. And young men, I tell you, prepare yourselves because one day you will rule, rule the world. And Dr. Vitti and the board members, as well as all of the community stakeholders and everybody that's here are gonna make sure that you're able to do that and that you're prepared to do that. You look mighty good standing there in those white shirts and those red ties, I tell you. So, um, I'm not gonna take up a whole lot of your time. I am just in awe and I'm extremely happy to see the turnout, the support of the program and I look forward to my next visit when I, when I actually see these young men serving as ambassadors at events across uh, the county. So on behalf of Miami-Dade County as well as Congresswoman Federica Wilson, thank you very much for embracing the 5,000 role models here in Duval County.